Hello and welcome. In this video, I will walk you through about the concept of conditional compilation. And in the next video, we will see conditional execution. Okay. So what is conditional compilation? The designer can specify that the particular portion of the code to be compiled only if a certain flag is set. Okay. Now see what are different conditional compiler directives tick back tick if def back tick else back tick else if back tick and if okay so this all compiler directives are defined by using back tick construct okay now by using this conditional directives compiler directives the user is getting an extra power or we can say that user is getting an additional power so that he can direct to the compiler what to compile or what not to compile. Okay, let me repeat. By using this conditional directives, compiler directives, the user is getting an extra power so that he can direct to the compiler what to compile or what not to compile. Now see, this is what the very simple example I have taken here in which I am declared two module, module example one and module example two. And in that I am just printing the hierarchical name of the module. What is hierarchical name here? Example one. And in this second example module, percentage M will print this hierarchical name example two. When when there is certain condition when certain flag is set to one now see by using this back tick define i am defining one flag test is equal to one so if test flag is one i am saying that compile this example one else if test flag is not set compile this example two so this is what define, tick define, back tick define, test flag is one. If back tick, back tick, if def, test. So it means compile the module example one only if test flag is set. Else, back tick else, compile this module, example two. Okay. And I'm ending this back tick end if. So we will see how it will compile this example one and example two. Now see, back tick define test is equal to one. Then it will compile this example one. Now we will run this code. Very simple example. Go to transcript, put Q very lock. File name. Now we want the output as example one okay now we will see what the output we are getting now see we are getting the output as expected it will printing module example one is compiled why because we have select we have defined this flag test is equal to one. now if I commented this what will happen the compiler will compile this else part and whatever what is present in this else part example 2 and I am printing this module uh, percentage M will print this hierarchical name example 2 now we will see if I commented this this means test flag is not set so it will compile this else part back tick else part now go to transcript and put the same command q very log file name now we want that the compile should compile compiler should compile example 2 okay now see what we are getting output now we are getting the output as expected now see module example 2 is compiled so it means that with the help of this compiler directives the user is getting an additional power by this he can direct to the compiler what to compile or what not to compile.
so this is what all about compiler directives backtick if def backtick else compiler directives so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching in the next video i will try to explain you what is conditional execution and uh, we will see some examples of tick time scale compiler directives also tick include is also there and we will try to see those questions in the later video so i hope you enjoyed video i i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching